pulling this little whaler out for some end-of-the-year maintenance, I realized I may have another project. See, between here and the launch ramp, I started to hear that unmistakable sound that my trailer bearings may need replacing. You probably know the sound, and it's not good. A sort of high-pitched whirring that you can't get away from. Before you get to that point, it's a good idea to check your bearings periodically, especially with a trailer like this that sits in a parking lot all season. Today, we're going to repack our trailer bearings. Another way to check, which should be done periodically, is the temperature of the hub. If it's hot to touch, those bearings are probably done. Your wheel's hub has two sets of bearings. To get at them, I'm taking off the wheel and prying off the hub cap, lightly tapping the side with a mallet to work it off. Pull out the cotter pin and remove the lock nut. Then the hub can slide right off. Look at that. Just as I suspected, this thing is pooched. So I've got the bearings out of both the front and back of this hub. The front one is that brutal one we looked at earlier. That was the one making all the noise. The back, not that bad, but if you're going to change one, you better change them both. So it's off to our marine parts store we go. Make sure you bring the old one with you, no matter how embarrassing it is to look at that shape. All right, back from the marine parts store where they were very helpful. And these kits, we've got two bearings, one for the front and back of each hub, some races to hold them in, a new cotter pin, and a new cap for the back one. What they did not give me was the lock nut to hold it in, so make sure you do not throw that out. I also picked up some mercury marine grease that'll work for a small trailer. It's lithium-based, and it won't break down in the presence of water. Remove all the old grease with some paper towels so you can take out the old races. Mine were visibly worn with ridges you could actually feel with your fingers. Generously lube up the new races and the inside of the hub and slide the race into the hub. Make sure the wide side goes in first so the new bearing can sit properly inside the hub. To get them all the way in, I tapped in a circle with some brass pipe, which is softer than the metal in the race so it won't dent it. Both races in, I'm gonna start with the cap side and pack this thing full of grease. And then I'm gonna take my bearings and work it through on each one of these pins so that grease is getting all the way around right in the back. Setting the bearing into place, add a little more grease for good measure. Then put the cap over the inside bearing. Tap it home with a rubber mallet. Clean and grease the axle and slide the hub back on and secure it with the lock nut. Make sure you don't over tighten. Just make sure there's no play with the hub. Then back the nut off slightly so you can slide in the cotter pin. Replace the hub cap with the mallet and replace your wheel. Now that's the sound we're looking for. Nothing. 